Welcome back, Jack Athletes. Straight into it, 21 reasons why you can't touch front lever. Let's get started. Reason number one why you can't touch front lever yet is because you're not leaning backwards. Guys, to get a clean touch front lever, what we want to do is we want to start leaning back as we drop down from that bar. That's gonna get us fully retracted in a straight line with our waist at that bar. And by doing this, we're gonna be nice and parallel to the floor in clean touch front lever form. However, if you found that you're not able to fully lean back and get into that full front lever, touch front lever form, well, all this means is some of your predominant pulling muscles aren't strong enough yet but don't worry some of the exercises we have later in this video are going to help you out with this so don't worry but for now what I'd suggest is that instead of pulling all the way to the bar but having a hunched over form and not exactly straight and parallel to the ground instead have your body a bit lower to the bar so lower elevation but in a strict straight line so you're more on a front lever just with the arms a bit bent pulling up towards the bar actively trying to get your body to the bar instead have this form where your strict straight line and this is going to get you that touch front lever a lot cleaner and a lot quicker. The second reason why you're not able to touch front lever yet is because you're not trying to twist the bar. So guys, let me explain. As I mentioned in my twin on reasons why you can't front lever video and my ultimate guide on how to front lever, your grip is so important for the regular front lever. If you don't have a good grip, it almost becomes your limiting factor with the front lever. But this is intensified by time 20. So you really wanna have a good grip round the bar, work on that false grip. But one way to do this and stop your grip slipping is by trying to to turn the bar so just like a motorcycle engine you want to try revving the motorcycle so I don't know if this is actually how motorcycles work but you want to try and almost twist your wrist around the bar this is really going to engage your forearms and keep your wrist locked onto that bar so as you pull you're not moving anywhere so as you lean backwards your wrists are almost counteracting you and stopping your hands twisting so you have super good hold on the bar and you can fully pull your waist to the bar so guys this tip was taught to me by the park Hage. Great channel, check him out, link is in the description. Reason number three why you can't touch front lever yet is because you're training with a bar that isn't the right height. So again, you're gonna see some similarities with how you train for a front lever, but again, if you train on a high bar, the touch front lever is gonna be extremely hard to learn because instead of dropping down into it in an eccentric kind of fashion, activating the muscles slowly, and we know we're a lot stronger in the eccentric of movements, so we can really hold a lot longer for these static movements. But if you're working on a high bar, then you're pulling up to the bar to your waist, and this is way harder. Harder. You're basically doing a front lever pull up to touch and then holding which is a harder movement than just doing a touch front lever and dropping down into it. So what I'd suggest is if you're learning the touch front lever then you get a bar, have it a few inches above waist height and that's going to be easier to get your grip and then drop down into it. So by doing this you're optimally maximizing your training so you can learn the movement and then you can take it up to a high bar. So if you're tall you might need a higher bar than someone that's a lot shorter than you so just try and get that bar around waist height that's a good place for it to be and then drop down into that touch front lever when you're doing your attempts. Reason number four where you can't touch front lever yet is because you're pulling in the wrong direction. So what I mean by this is in the touch front lever, you don't want to pull like an Australian pull up. So it's very easy to kind of get into this Australian pull up fashion because you're in a similar position below the bar. So you think you might just be rowing like an Australian pull up, but this isn't the case with the touch front lever, you're pulling directly down on the bar to your waist. So it's slightly different direction of pulling than Australian pull up. So if any of you are pulling like that, you don't want to do this. You really want to have your force exerting fully down into the bar because this is where your center of mass is. So you want to counteract your center of mass, which is directly below the bar. And by doing this, you want to pull directly down on the bar. That's going to elevate your body up where your center of mass is, optimally raising you up and elevating yourself. So guys, while recording this video, I just came to me that when I do my touch front lever, even though I'm pulling directly down on the bar, I'm really thinking about pushing down directly on the bar to elevate my body up. So I just thought I'd include this in case it helps anyone. But yeah, I think about pushing downwards while twisting my wrist and this elevates my body up. So hopefully this helps some of you guys. Reason number five why you can't touch front lever yet is because you protract in your front lever. So guys, let me explain because some people won't want to hear this, but it's very important. So I know in some people's front lever, they protract a little bit. And I'm not going to say this is wrong, but I will say it might not be optimal. So what we want to do is, of course, we want to fight against gravity. So in the planche, that's protraction. That's fully engaging the muscles needed to fight against gravity. We want to do the same in the front lever, which is retraction. So if you're fully protracting in your front lever, this might hold you back when you go to do your touch front lever sets because you're not fully recruiting all the muscles of the back. So you might be relying more on your lats because if you're protracting in the front lever, that's more what you're going to be relying on, which isn't wrong. It just means maybe you have really strong lats and weaker other muscles. But really to optimally learn 
slender touch from the event and it might be holding you back, relying on your lats, you wanna work on all these other muscles of the upper back, the rear delts especially. Reason number six why you can't touch front lever yet is because you're not using this muscle which is commonly weak. And of course that muscle is the rear delts. I just talked about how important it is that you don't rely on the lat. And the rear delts are a really important small muscle for overall general shoulder health. You don't want shoulder injuries with calisthenics guys, trust me, because it ruins everything. So you want good general shoulder health. And by working on your rear delts, that's really gonna help you out. So reason number seven why you can't touch front lever yet is because you're missing out on this OP way to use resistance bands. So guys, when I see beginners learning the touch front lever, a lot of the times they're using the band like this. And I just kind of cringe because I really don't like this way of using resistance bands for the touch front lever and the regular front lever. I feel like this way of using the resistance bands is way better for activating the core, learning the right position, learning how to lean back the right amount. It just, it feels a lot better to me and I've found that a lot of people like it. Even though it's harder, it's better in the long run. So guys, I'd suggest that if you're not doing and using your bands this way, then I suggest you do try it out. If you need more resistance, either just use a heavier band, or if you don't have a heavier band, you're only using one or two bands, then just hold it a bit tighter, grip it around the bar a little bit tighter, and there you go. And if you don't have any resistance bands, go to the Gore Nation website, use the code JACK10. They have great resistance bands. They have all the ones you'll ever need for the whole of your plant journey, and they are the ones I recommend you buy. Reason number eight why you can't touch front lever yet is because you haven't perfected your false grip. So guys, when I was first learning the touch front lever, I felt like I had a pretty decent false grip. That was until I actually started the exercises for the touch front lever and I found out that okay my false grip isn't as strong as I thought it was. So guys for you guys you want to start working with your false grip even more when you start learning the touch front lever so your grip isn't a limiting factor. Reason number nine why you can't touch front lever yet is because you haven't checked the static progressions for the touch front lever. So guys if you haven't checked the static progression for the touch front lever these are very important because you can work this into your workout. So I'd suggest you have both dynamic and static exercises when you learn the touch front lever and if you don't know what the static progressions for the touch front lever is, then go to my Instagram. It's at the Jack Vegan with an underscore at the end. I have a reel on there of how to touch front lever. So there's a load of other content as well that's gonna keep you guys entertained until my next video. So guys, if you haven't already, check out the Instagram and learn the touch front lever static progressions. Reason number 10 why you can't touch front lever yet is because you're not using a close grip. So guys, it's gonna be a pretty easy concept to understand. So as you move your grip closer in that touch front lever, it's gonna be a lot easier to hold. And then as you move your grip outwards, it's gonna become more of a touch front lever. And of course, that's gonna be way, way more difficult. So if you're just learning the touch front lever, have your grip pretty close to start, where it's comfortable. Reason number 11 why you can't touch front lever yet is because you're flaring your elbows. So guys, when you do the touch front lever, you really don't wanna be flaring your elbows because you wanna have your elbows really lock down everything compact so you could really activate those lats by flaring the elbows you're only really going to be activating the really upper muscles of your back so that's your rear delts and your traps and that's not really going to be best at ultimately holding yourself in the touch front lever so if you find yourself kind of flaring your elbows out don't do that try and pack everything in really engage the lats reason number 12 why you can't touch front lever yet is because your biceps or the weak link. So of course the touch front lever and the front lever are both pulling movements, but the touch front lever is a bent arm pulling movement. And in the front lever, it's likely you haven't been engaging your biceps too much. You haven't been working on that strength a whole lot, unless you've been doing specific, uh, you know, other progressions, other calisthenic holds that really engage your biceps. So when you come to the touch front lever, you might be limited because of your biceps. So you really want to isolate your biceps, each workout, making sure you're not missing this. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button because we're trying to become the biggest calisthenics channel of this generation. Reason number 13 why you can't touch front lever yet is because you have no lower body tension. So guys, this is something I need to keep in mind as well because sometimes I forget about my whole lower body when I'm in that touch front lever because I'm so focused on my upper body and get myself all the way up to that bar. But really you need to focus on pointing your toes, squeezing your quads, squeezing your glutes as well to get that nice strict straight line. And sometimes that's easy to forget. So what you wanna do is you wanna make it second nature where it's almost impossible to forget. It's just muscle memory that whenever you get into the touch front lever form and the front lever form, you're squeezing your quads, pointing your toes and also squeezing your glutes.
Reason number 14 why you can't touch front lever yet is because you're not doing touch front lever negative. So during my 30 day challenge to learn the touch front lever, this was one of my favorite exercises because I really felt my whole back light up when I did this exercise, especially the rear delts, as I mentioned before. So I really recommend you do this exercise because you get the benefit of doing the touch front lever, holding it there. You also get that eccentric, which is gonna help you with a uh, front lever pull up, which I was also able to get at the end of that challenge. And then you're also able to hold the front lever. So you get almost three skills using one exercise. It's OP. So guys, do touch front lever negatives. It's gonna help you out. I might make a touch front lever tier list video. If you guys want that, comment it down below and I'll make that for you guys as well. Reason number 15 why you can't touch front lever yet is because you're not training front lever pull-ups. So as mentioned previously, it's a good idea to have static progressions, but also mix in dynamic exercises as well. They really go hand in hand and really boost your progression and how quickly you can learn some skills. And with the touch front lever, I really recommend you learn this dynamic skill where you're doing front lever pull-ups, use a resistance band, again, get the Gornation bands, the ones I recommend. Reason number 16 why I can't touch front lever yet is because you're not engaging your core the right way. So with the touch front lever, similar to the front lever, you wanna keep everything posteriorly tilted. This gives you that nice strict straight line. So you wanna posteriorly tilt your pelvis. To do this, you've gotta engage that, that core, uh, squeeze the glutes as well. This is what's gonna tilt that core, give you that nice straight line. So if you're not doing this in touch front lever, it's gonna look like this, which doesn't look too clean you know it's gonna not be a nice straight line parallel to the floor so guys make sure you're keeping the pelvis tilted in your touch front levers as well Reason number 17 why I can't touch front lever yet is because you're not using ankle weights in your training. So this is something I've been using for a couple of weeks now and I've found that after doing these really hard sets of touch front lever with ankle weights, as soon as I take them off, it's almost like I'm floating. It, it's exactly the same as if any of you guys have done weighted pull-ups, you take the weights off, it feels like you're absolutely flying. Same exact thing. So guys, I'd really recommend for some of you that are hitting a plateau with your touch front lever training, try using ankle weights. Reason number 18 why you can't touch front lever yet is because you're not training the crucial range of motion. And of course that crucial range of motion is that last few centimeters where your waist is just about to touch that bar because of course for a touch front lever to count you need to be having your waist touching that bar. And that last few centimeters is the hardest to get, trust me. And really the way you should be doing this is using a band. That's one way you can train having your waist to bar while using a band to help assist you. I just remembered there's one other exercise where you train that last range of motion where your waist is to the bar and that's the foot elevated touch front lever. So that's where you elevate your feet onto something and then pull. So it's not exactly the same intensity and you can really modify it. So it's beginner exercise. Again, could make a full video on this. Comment down below if you want that, but it's another good exercise for learning and increasing your strength in that last crucial range of motion. Reason number 19 why you can't touch front lever yet is because you've been neglecting your horizontal bent arm pulls. So there are many different pulling movements, one of which is horizontal bent arm pulling. And in the early stages of calisthenics, it's very easy to neglect this movement because pretty much Australian pull-ups are the only real one that people do. Um, it, it's hard to be creative with this kind of movement for calisthenics. The other one is advanced tuck front lever pull-ups that a lot of people do, but it's very hard to progressively overload with these movements. And some people end up neglecting them compared to just doing conventional pull-ups and even um, front lever raises. So what I recommend is you spend some time really progressively overloading your Australian pull-ups. If you have a weight vest, this is really going to help. If you can really progressively overload with your advanced tuck front lever pull-ups, then that's going to be really going to help you with learning the touch front lever. Reason number 20 why you can't touch front lever yet is because you don't have a 10 second front lever. If you don't have this 10 second front lever, it's going to be extremely hard to be kept in that horizontal position of the touch front lever while having bent arms up to the bar. It's going to be extremely hard. You really need to get used to having that core strength of just holding yourself horizontally for an extended length of time because it's going to get harder from here. You're going to be extremely comfortable just holding that position. So if you're struggling to get that 10 second front lever, an exercise that will help with this is dragon flags it's going to be super good at working that core and keeping you in that horizontal position so really recommend if you're struggling with the 10 second front lever then do dragon flags and the last reason why you can't touch front lever yet is because you haven't watched this video where i was able to learn the touch front lever in only 30 days and in this video i show you all the exercises i did all my training to learn the touch front lever super quick 